I'm on a hot air balloon ride today, signing my life away. So today we're flying a, a head balloon, and down below is a lid strand bottom end that I had to buy. Good morning. Good morning. We got 38 degrees. All this fun stuff. Hello adventure enthusiasts, welcome to Blair Productions, this is Brennan, and today we're going to take you through an exhilarating process of launching a hot air balloon from setup to lift off. We've got the details covered, so let's dive in. We're unloading the basket right now. Before we begin, safety is our top priority, making sure we have a certified pilot and adhere to all safety regulations. We've checked the weather conditions, equipment thoroughly to ensure secure and enjoyable experience. And here we have the burners for the hot air balloon. And as we unload everything, we lay down the ground cover. As we prepare to launch, the ground cover plays a significant role in the overall process. The hot air balloon envelope is a delicate yet vital component. The ground cover serves as a protective layer shielding the balloon fabric from potential damage caused by rough or uneven surfaces. A smooth, clean surface minimizes the risk of tears or abrasions during inflation. Now we begin by laying out the envelope on a clean, flat surface carefully inspecting the entire surface for any signs of wear or tear or damage. Look out for potential issues, small punctures, loose stitching. It's crucial to catch and address these concerns before inflation. When it comes to hot air ballooning, the basket is more than just a passenger compartment. It is an industrial workhorse designed for safety, stability, and functionality. Now let's hear from Gary about the safety release. Holds the plane. Now we're gonna pull this thing out and it'll unravel this and pull it break it loose. Strong enough to hold the entire uh, balloon and then all he pulls that green string and it'll, it'll break it. The first step in the inflation process is laying out the balloon envelope on a flat, clean surface. This massive fabric is the heart of the hot air balloon and how it spreads out initially is crucial for a smooth inflation. With the envelope laid out, it's time for the cold inflation. Using a powerful fan, introduce ambient air into the envelope. This process helps with the balloon take its initial shape and prevents it from twisting or holding during the subsequent stages. As the balloon envelope swells with cold air, it's time to introduce the heat. The burner fueled by propane comes to life. The bursts of flame superheat the air inside, causing the balloon to rise and take its iconic form. Watch the envelope start to stand tall. Throughout the inflation process, the pilot plays a critical role. Using the burner controls, the pilot carefully manages the heat, ensuring a gradual and controlled ascent. This precision is vital for maintaining the balloon's shape and stability. 
As the balloon continues to inflate, the ground crew and pilot closely monitor the entire process. They make any necessary adjustments to ensure an even inflation and address any potential issues. The team coordination is key at this stage. With the envelope fully inflated, we conduct final checks. Storing the ground cover back into its bag, signing waivers. As the pilot performs his last safety checks, we get into the basket and prepare for flight. With a gentle hiss from the burner, we begin our ascent. The ground beneath us slowly fades away, and Casa Grande transforms into a patchwork of fields, roads, and desert landscape. The sensation of liftoff is both exhilarating and peaceful. As we ascend higher, the views become more panoramic. The sprawling Sonoran desert stretches out before us, with the iconic Casa Grande mountains standing proudly on the horizon. It is a sight that truly captures the essence of Arizona's natural beauty. Floating in the open sky, there is a sense of serenity that envelopes us. The only sounds are occasional bursts from the burner and the soft whispers of the wind. It's a moment to breathe, reflect, and take in the sheer vastness of the landscape below. Gliding through the air, we witness the magic of flight. The balloon responds gracefully to the pilot's control, allowing us to hover over landmarks and explore beauty of Casa Grande from a perspective few get to experience. As our adventure nears its end, we descend for a smooth touchdown. The ground crew, always ready, guides us to a gentle landing. The journey concludes with a celebration where we toast to breakfast to this incredible experience and the beauty of Casa Grande. As we continue our journey, notice the smooth sailing high above Casa Grande. The Canon camera in hand were capturing the tranquil scenes as the balloon glides effortlessly through the morning air. With the power of the Canon zoom lens, we can bring the detail of Casa Grande into focus, zoom in on sparling fields and people in pools, mendering roads and the unique desert vegetation. The level of detail captured by the Canon is truly remarkable. Spotting landmarks from above is unique thrill, with the cannon capturing every moment. However, their face tells it all, the wonder and excitement as they take the panoramic views in, these genuine reactions that make hot air balloon rides truly memorable experience. The pilot is constantly controlling the balloon, adjusting altitude, and direction with precision. It's a dance with the wind and the cannon captures every moment. As the balloon gracefully ascends, the ground crew doesn't stay idle. They transition into a chase mode, whether by vehicle and radio communication. They follow the balloon's flight path, ready to assist with the landing and retrieval process. As the adventure reaches its climax, the ground crew's expertise truly shines during the landing phase. They assist the pilot in finding a suitable landing site, guide the balloon to a gentle touchdown, and quickly secure the envelope and basket. Their swift, coordinated efforts ensure a safe and comfortable landing for all on board. And here comes our ground crew. This would be Kurt. After the adventure concludes, the ground crew's responsibilities continue. 
They assist with deflating and packing the balloon, ensuring that all equipment is properly stowed for the next flight. Their commitment doesn't end until the very last passenger is safely on solid ground. Now let's give a brief over overview of the Head Balloon Inc. Head Balloon Inc. boasts an impressive fleet of hot air balloons, from vibrant and colorful designs to classic and elegant options. Their fleet caters to a diverse taste. Each balloon is meticulously maintained, ensuring not just a beautiful ride, but a safe one too. At the helm of every balloon is a team of experienced and certified pilots. These professionals bring years of experience to the skies, ensuring a smooth and enjoyable journey. Safety is their top priority and they make sure every passenger feels comfortable and secure throughout the flight. What sets Head Balloon Inc. apart? It's their commitment to providing customized experiences, whether it's a romantic sunrise flight, a special celebration or a corporate event. They tailor the adventure to suit your preference, making each journey a unique memorable one. And this one was definitely a unique memorable experience. This flight crew is retired and no longer does commercial flights. They just do flights for friends and family. Okay, well, I started with, uh, my first was a 20 year old aircraft, a Raven, and it was a 77,000 cubic foot balloon that I crewed on for six years. And then I, the guy said he had four balloons in the garage and he couldn't fly but one at a time, so get off my butt. And I bought the whole system, including the trailer, the fan, and everything for $2,400. Yeah, like, a, like a student normally does, you beat it up, you tear it, you cut it, you burn it, whatever you want to do to it. About three years later, I upgraded from a 77,000 to an 80,000. Woman was this high, and she had a you know, one of two hydraulic lift burners in the United States from Cameron. So uh, I was able to push the burner up and down for a number of years. Uh, it was called the Fun Balloon. This was Cognito. This is fantastic, and that's where I started my company ride with the ride business. And uh, and then on the way to a Balloon Federation of America convention in Iowa, out of here one year. I was going to buy a brand new envelope and a guy called me, a fireman, he said, call this guy Julian Toon in Memphis, he's selling a brand new system with 11 hours on it. And I bought the envelope for $10,000. This one, by the way, the whole system was $10,000. This one here, I bought just the envelope for $10,000. But the kid that bought this one wanted the lower end with the hydraulic lift and all that. So uh, I told him when I got ready to move up that I would sell him that. Then I had what they call a senior moment. This is the Packer NFC balloon from the Dallas uh, Super Bowl when the Packers played the Steelers and won in, in uh, 2008, whatever it was. And so this was the NFC balloon and the AFC balloon was red and silver. This one was blue and silver with the stars because Jerry Jones was hosting the Super Bowl that year. Uh, I thought I was getting the balloon with the banners that would said the Packers won and all that. We we're gonna put it up in Lambeau Field where I work. And the woman wouldn't, uh, Marsha wouldn't give me the banners. She said the NFL would get upset. Then I found out that I had gotten bigger in those days and the balloon had gotten smaller because this was a 90,000. I went back to a 77,000 and it was, it, was, it was burning real hot. So a uh, balloon meister up in Montreal, his son bought the AFC one. He wanted the NFC one so they could fly together. So he met me in the Sault Ste. Marie and paid me $4,000 more than I paid for it. So I got it in eight months and I got rid of it. I bought a brand new balloon from Head Balloons. And the, as you notice, it, the pattern goes this way. The one I ordered originally, the pattern went that way. When we got it here and put it on the ground, we found out it had 157 <laughs> panels of oil damage. FedEx had put it on a truck and rolled it through a pool of oil and destroyed the aircraft, essentially, yeah. as far as aesthetically looking. Uh, at, at Fiesta two months later, the manufacturer saw that and said, it's my responsibility. He built me another balloon. My wife thought it'd be nice if we had the spiral go a different way. So this is just a photocopy of that. And over breakfast, I'll show you some pictures of the two together, which I took in North Carolina this past summer. Uh, this one's 105,000 cubic feet. Everybody should buy a brand new balloon and bigger 
when they turned 72. My wife said, why? I said, because I could, because I wanted to, and I did. And so then now, now that I'm not flying a ride business, however, and just us Yahoo's together, uh, if somebody offered me a racer 88,000 or 80,000, something like that, with a smaller basket, I'd probably horse trade it, even Steven, even though this one costs a lot, much more. But uh, it'd be nice to have a little smaller envelope for us retirees, but we, we seem to manage it okay. Uh, we play some basket and all that. So this has got double burners. These were all single burners until I moved over to this one and got double burners. Any questions? That's it. Good job. All the balloons. Awesome. And this is long winded and this is shooting the breeze. I don't name my balloons. My crew chief at home names them. And he said the shoe fits, you gotta wear it. Uh, awesome. I'd ask for it. Okay. Denny's. You got, you got IHOP, you got Denny's, and you got Cracker Barrel. Well, I don't like, you'll never get, well, you might find a room with Cracker Barrel, maybe. But we could try Denny's or whatever you want. Just tell me. We go by Denny's. If it looks too crowded, we just keep rolling down the highway until we find a spot that isn't crowded. And that, my fellow adventurers, brings us to the end of this enchanting journey. Hot air balloons, breakfast delight at Cracker Barrel, the warm hospitality. We soared high above and embraced the serenity of the skies and descended to the inviting aroma of Crackle Barrel Breakfast awaiting us on solid ground. As we wrap up this adventure, I want to express my gratitude for joining me on this unique experience from the gentle liftoff to the panoramic views of the delicious breakfast spread. Every moment was a celebration of extraordinary and the ordinary, blending seamlessly in the skies above. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more electric adventure, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Whether you're a seasoned balloonist or a dreamer planning your first flight, the magic of a hot air balloon and the warmth of a Cracker Barrel breakfast makes for an unforgettable combination. Until our next journey together, may your skies be clear, your breakfast hearty, and your adventures as uplifting as a hot air balloon ride over a Cracker Barrel morning. Thank you for being a part of this magical experience. Happy ballooning and bon appetit.